let's add these really cool tooltips to our item in Minecraft. Adding the tooltip is actually a really easy process. You simply need to override one extra method inside of your custom item class. So in our case, we are in the Firestone class here and we will simply override the add information method. And the really cool thing here is that you simply need to do tooltip.add and then make a new translation text component. This is what I would suggest here. And then what we will actually put in here is a key. And this key is exactly what we have done in the lang en underscore us json before. So it would be something like this. So you'd call this tooltip dot tutorial mod dot firestone underscore shift. I will explain the shift in a, just a little bit. And then we could, for example, just uh, add another one. So control D to duplicate the line. And then for example, just have Firestone normal without anything else. Because what we're going to do is we're actually going to check whether or not we press the shift key in order to show something different. So we can do this by using the screen dot has shift down boolean here, which is a really useful method. And then we will basically put this in here. So when shift is pressed, then we will display the tooltip dot tutorial mod dot firestone underscore shift. And then we'll say else we will display the other one. Now, how do those look? Well, let's just basically copy this one over here, control C, and then inside of here, we'll just put this under the item group, control V, then we'll need colon. And then let's say, for example, hold, uh, and then we'll put in shift for more information. And then we can basically paste in the other one as well with underscore shift. And then we can say might set you on fire, but also might protect from it. So a sort of mysterious message when you press shift. Now what's really cool is you can also add certain colors to it. So basically all of the formatting codes that are available for Minecraft in the book and quill, for example, can also be done in there. I'll have a link to that fandom wiki article in the description below. Now, usually what you should do is you should put in this character right here. So this is the paragraph character. However, for me personally, this has not worked. So I actually have to put this into Unicode. So I have to put in backslash U0087 and then whatever the formatting code is. In our case, we'll just take E here and then to close the format again, we'll put this in once more. So seven and then R. And now when we look at the shift inside of the game, we'll see that this has a different color. So let's see if it worked. Right, we find ourselves in Minecraft. And as you can see, as soon as I move the mouse over the Firestone, hold shift for more information. And when I hold shift, then you can see might set you on fire, but also might protect you from it. So that's really cool. And we can basically put this in our inventory. And when we hover over it, this shows perfectly fine. We can also, if we go into survival mode, we can see the same thing, just works totally fine. And that's actually all that we really need to do. The reason why we use the translation text component here is of course, so that when you want to translate your mod into different languages, that you don't have to replace this weirdly. You can simply use the translation text component. I would say it's not the most important and it also makes it just a little bit more robust in terms of coding and yeah. You might have seen that the screen has two other methods, has alt down and has control down. So what you could, for example, do is add another layer to this. So basically add another tooltip for the control and the alt key when they are pressed. And you could, of course, also add ones where you press both of them at the same time. That could be sort of a little side fun challenge for you. But anyway, that was it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. I would of course very much appreciate a like. Otherwise I will see you in the next video. So yeah.